morning and welcome to the Styles TV Morning Show. Today's episode is an exciting one and one of my personal favorites. We're going to be talking a whole lot about showrooms and merchandising and setting up your displays. And we also have a special episode. So last week, as a lot of you know, Josh was in Dallas at the ASI Dallas show. And while he was there, he also visited our Texas facility. So we have some special episode um, content where we're going to show you guys the showroom there, the warehouse there, and give you a little bit of information and then pull out some tips on how you can look at our showroom and different showroom ideas and share them with um, you guys to set up successful showrooms. So when it comes to selling apparel, you guys know that the way you display your products and the way you show your products really says a lot about your business. Um, it says not only a lot about the professionalism of your business and the quality that you present in your products and how you display them, but it's also key in upselling. And so the way you can lay out garments and place them together and show them together really helps to benefit you in the upsell process. And there's always a saying where they say your showroom, if done right, um, can be your most efficient and your best salesperson. Unless, of course, you're the salesperson, then we already know you're the best. Um, but setting yourself up with this tool is really a great idea. And so today we're going to share some tips um, from our Dallas warehouse on how to set up your showroom and how to successfully do that. And so Josh is going to show you a lot of that footage. My favorite, um, which I'll show you as one of them, is being able to use the paradox of three. So using um, three items together and creating a focal point in the center of your showroom or the center of your display. And once we get through his ideas in these videos, we'll talk a lot about how to um, create these or how to leverage them, whether it's a brick and mortar showroom or just a sales book display for your sales calls or um, different principles like that, like at events and trade shows. So we're going to go ahead and show you guys that video and walk you through our showroom right in Dallas. Hi guys, I'm excited to be here at our Stalls Texas facility right before the ASI show. As you're watching this, I've probably concluded the show and back in Pennsylvania, but um, this is an exciting trip for a couple reasons. Number one is we just opened this new warehouse and showroom that's Stalls Texas. So getting products to you folks of Texas and neighboring states a lot quicker than before, and even giving you a chance to come in uh, to this new showroom and test drive equipment and ultimately see some samples and get inspired. But uh, for our morning show viewers, what I'd like to do is sort of walk around the showroom and you may be able to pick up on some new product ideas as I walk through those and even ideas on how to outfit your own retail space uh, for display concepts. So we'll start um, exactly where I am here and go through these freestanding mannequins. Um, as you can see, we've sort of paired off a completed look here where we have the same team or jersey color across all the styles. And so we're looking at a sewn uh, twill product on the athletic jersey, still a very popular way uh, to decorate athletic uniforms. We're also on the uh, spirit jersey here. Uh, for the smaller fan, we have a two-color thermofilm. Uh, for the number, Thermofilm, as you know, is our best seller for athletic uniforms, and we're even pairing that with a white glitter flake for a mixed media look. Um, if you're crafty, um, you can pair it off with a nice uh, tutu, as we see here, um, and we've also added some shoes which can easily be customized on a Hotronics heat press, so a complete look. And then, of course, we're hitting the full spirit look here with our cheerleading shell that's decorated with a combination of standard poly twill and rip away applique glitter flake, um, all sewn with a satin stitch for a nice uh, standout look. And then top that off with glitter flake on the varsity jacket. And if we step around to the back of the varsity jacket here, we'll actually see um, the same concept where we've completed it by now using the silver glitter flake and the contrast color uh, satin stitch in red. So a completed look here um, and topped off with our cleats customized with the player's number and fashion film. So if you look at Stalls TV, you can see how to create all of these items and learn more about the process. But a, a great way to sort of round off your display is having something in the center of the room like freestanding mannequins or the display you just saw. And then across the walls um, of the facility here in the showroom, you see a lot of different things. This is sort of the print cut corner where we take a look at one team's logo repurposed across all of the sellable items. So a great way to think about how you may showcase products and the idea that for one team you can not only create uh, performance apparel jackets but you can start to offer lunch coolers and bags and pad folios um, even as far as repositionable wall graphics that you see so carrying the concept of one company or one team logo across many different items really helps you to harness the power of your heat press and really up your average sale per customer 
growing sales in your business. Now, of course, there's a lot of equipment um, around here. Um, it's always debated on whether you should actually cut and allow customers to see uh, the creation of the items. That's up to you. A heat press has a lot of power at an event, um, sort of draws crowds around it when you're personalizing items. I always recommend showing that part of the process. And as we look over here, this is our spirit wear corner. So you see a lot of the Stahl's products that have been popular over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. The lace glitter um, is always a favorite from the wild side. That's just a stock transfer outlined in rhinestones. It's a lace glitter transfer. And we've customized it further with Glitter Flake. If we sort of come down from there, you'll see a butterfly with a mixed media uh, presentation that's combining fashion film in Glitter Flake with a name personalization, which is really powerful for uh, kids. And then we're seeing the cheer shell once again, but instead of needing embroidery, we've simply heat applied Glitter Flake onto it, even um, customizing the shirt that's underneath and sort of the turtleneck um, with the small placement. So be creative with your placements and uh, what you display is ultimately what will sell. So you want to make sure you fully customize and outfit your display samples. And to that end, we have the Dance Stars outfit and we see we've even personalized this scarf with glitter flake and even a faux rhinestone look around it and customize the shirt and the leg print on the pants. Uh, if you just down to the right side here, we have the leg print on the pants, which was customized on a leg and sleeve platen. So just showing all of the possibilities. If we sort of come back out, we're sort of transitioning out of the spirit look and over into team, you're still getting some of the glitter in the spirit designs, but more across some team pieces with our uh, pom-pom jersey. The oversized shirts are tremendously popular, even incorporating glitter flake as part of a team uniform. Moving over here, now we're starting to show embroidered looks and sort of grouping embroidered finishes is one idea in your showroom. You may not want to detail uh, the manufacturing process like we've done here with Rip Away Applique, just to explain it to you, but the idea that all of these heat transfer films and finishes are possible with this process and this look. Everything from reflective materials to uh, printed materials uh, from Express Print you can use for Rip Away. So not only do we show the same logo, but then we start to create and show you that different patterns are possible. So whatever your team, your look, your style is, you can get it in Rip Away Applique through our embroidery section. Continuing the trend of embroidery, we'll move a little bit to the right here, and we start to see a little bit more of the sewn twill look. So once again, we're seeing uh, zigzag stitches here, which is traditional for a sports uniform. That's a sort of uh, zigzag pattern to sew the letters down. And then on spirit wear, you typically see a satin stitch, which is the inside gray stitch on this for a word mark across the front chest. And same concept, you see the satin stitch a lot on the cheer shell. So just showing that not only can you do the rip away process, you can do your traditional uh, twill looks. And if you don't have an embroidery machine, uh, we have the sim stitch product up here on the hat that can be just applied. So it's a pain to embroider hats. Um, as we're finding out with our new embroidery machine at Stalls TV, so the Sim Stitch is a great product to just heat press onto headwear. And sort of moving with that concept, I'll jump over here uh, to this Sim Stitch design. So once again, just a heat applied finish for an athletic tail and a number on this jersey. No sewing required, helps you print more. This wall is all dedicated to all of our team looks. So one idea would be not only showing uh, different numbering styles, but show the concept that you can do things like not only numbers on uh, football uniforms with standard numbers, but you can do interactive numbers and some trendy styles. Make sure you show that you can do multicolor numbers. And to get really creative, show prints on performance wear and some unique effects, effects within multicolor numbers like you see here on our number two. Um, just ways to be creative and stand out and really inspire your customers to do something different uh, than the basics. So we'll keep walking around the showroom here and we start to get into a screen printed transfer wall, also rhinestones. Now you can incorporate this as part of your normal display on the team side. We've split it off because this is Transfer Express uh, product when we're demonstrating to this to you, but the idea that we can do custom rhinestones, I could easily group that with my spirit wear section. Here I have uh, an elastoprint transfer, heat pressed to a tri-blend, so showing more fashionable fabrics and the fact that they won't scorch and you can print those. Um, these are all big keys to decorating and selling. 
And then we have a stock transfer wall. So if you want some simple pick and press samples, um, stock some transfers in your showroom or in your retail display, um, whether that's regardless of what license transfer it is, there's a ton of license transfers available from stalls or the wild side, um, particularly, or Transfer Express. And then last but not least, you can see, uh, this is one of my favorite areas, is these uh, high-end performance garments, MyoGrid. So not only are we showing the full line of MyoGrid, but we're showing unique decoration. Um, a new product that you're gonna see coming out here, if it's not already out by the time you're watching this, is CadCut Glaze. Um, this is a product that sort of gives you a nice metallic color shift. It's understated, it's very soft, and it's also very stretchable. Um, also, we have sort of the clear gloss, which you've seen before, the SuperTech clear gloss here on the MyoGrid garment for that wet look, but still understated. Showcasing the full range across male and female models, always key. You can customize with mannequins. Obviously, mannequins are a little bit more expensive. Uh, a simple waterfall rack uh, makes for a great display as well, where you can easily change in items in and out onto your uh, show floor. We'll keep going over here, it's just some more waterfall racks. Tons of decorated samples for you to experience if you come into the showroom here. Um, this is one of my favorite displays because I think it will really translate to your showroom. And that's just the idea of getting these pre-cut number style display books that are sold by stalls. So these are really simple. Not only can you hang them on the rack, but I can sit in a meeting, I can take them you know, into a Starbucks to a sales call and easily show customers ideas here. And then a unique way to display all your color swatches is just hung here. We have a lot of slat wall. This is a metal slat wall. Um, it's very uh, versatile and you can change it, which is great. So if I wanna change this display at any time, there's a bunch of different attachments that I can sort of lock into place and go from there. Um, carrying on the flip book, this is another great piece where I can flip through uh, different finishes and styles um, to show customers all, some, all something within a very compact area so I can take that easily with me, it transports well. And then making sure that you have some sort of leave behind promotional piece or brochure that maybe highlights a little bit about your company or specials in an easy way uh, for you to hand to a client alongside a business card. So plenty to experience here at Stalls Texas. So whether or not you're just looking to pick up new decoration concepts for your business in 2016, there's literally hundreds of garments for you to take a look at the different products that you can produce with a heat press or an embroidery machine. Or if you just want to get display sample ideas, we'd certainly welcome you in. Uh, you can show up anytime between 8 and 5 uh, local time and see our Stalls Texas commercial for full address info. Thanks to Thanks Josh for taking Josh. the time while he was in Dallas to um, show us the showroom and give us some tips and ideas on how to set up displays in showrooms. And so I think you guys can already see the power as you're walking through and you're seeing um, the same logo across multiple items. So that was a huge benefit um, to being able to see what you as a decorator can do with one customer's logo. And so think of that as you're going into sales calls and creating samples for that or just creating walls for trade shows or for showroom displays on how you're displaying the product across multiple items. That's a huge, um, powerful statement that you can offer to your customers. I also really like pairing together like items with other like items. So if you're selling to schools or to sports leagues, being able to pair together and really show your power as a decorator and what you can do by grouping those things together. And those are some really great principles. Um, but when it comes to putting together a showroom, you know, um, obviously taking the time away from printing to create something beautiful and so um, wonderfully merchandised and creating those garments can be challenging. So I want to share a couple of tips that I've put together to help you in creating your uh, trade show display or your showroom displays or trade show displays or even just salesman samples. Um, the first one I always like is, you know, when you create that garment or that artwork that you just love and it's that job that you think, wow, I really love this image, create an extra or two or three extras of that job. So order a couple extra garments when you're ordering in the garments, create a couple of extra transfers or screen print a couple of extra shirts while you're doing that job and that way you have your own sample set that you can use on your sales calls or display in your showroom to show what you've done with that artwork and how you've been able to really take that customer's image and make it stand out. So creating extras for sure whenever you're um, doing the job just go ahead and make it part if it's a 12 piece job, do 13 or 14 pieces just to be able to get, um, there's a couple of extra ones that you want. Um, you saw some in the video, but I want to mention 
being able to leverage free sources like swatches. Um, so Josh had shown some CAD-cut material swatches which are free from stalls, so you can use those and should use those um, in your showroom display and especially on sales calls so you can help customers choose um, the colors for their job. On the flip side, if you use transfers from, screen, or from uh, Transfer Express, screen printed transfers like that, you may want to look investing into their marketing kit because in essence it's kind of a showroom in a box. So it works to um, give you the transfers to create some samples and to display, but it also gives you that color selector, which is huge for selecting ink colors for jobs and letting your customers actually see the color that you're going to be choosing for them. You also saw some pre-cut number books. So anywhere you can source things like this from decorators is real or from um, your the pre-cut number books that are available. If you're doing pre-cut numbers, it really shows. Um, your strength to be able to show all of the options that are available, even if you just pair that together with your display of a couple of uh, live team uniforms. Um, and also keep in mind, lastly, that if you're looking to create custom samples or you want to show a couple of different finishes, there's always for CAD cut materials or for uh, vinyl cutters, there's always one yard cuts available where you can just um, cut a couple of designs out, make a couple sample pieces and display them together. But that should help you to at least get a start on being able to show some different things into your showroom. Um, and so after the episode later today into tomorrow, you'll notice if you go to StallsTV.com and check out the Stalls TV blog, we'll have another post on following up on what you can do to create display samples for sales calls. So taking these kind of principles and really expanding them so we can create samples that sell on sales calls because I know a lot of decorators have either a sales staff or you're meeting with your um, clients and maybe a Starbucks like Josh said or a different place where you're wanting to show the products to them so what with you and how do you make sure they're professional and clean and give the image that you want so that'll be available on the Stalls TV blog at StallsTV.com and then before we head out obviously we're very excited um, as Josh shared a little bit about our new Texas location so for those of our friends and viewers that are in the greater um, Texas area we want to get snippet of our new warehouse that you're able to visit and also have some products shipped out of. So before we head out today, I do want to show you just a quick snip of the new um, warehouse for you guys to get to take a look at. I'm Josh Ellsworth and this is Stalls Texas, here to serve you faster and better than ever before. Come on in. So we're standing here with Tim Barnes, warehouse manager of Stalls, Texas. Tim, tell our customers about this awesome facility. Okay, we're standing in our showroom, which uh, customers can come. They can uh, look at some of our product. They can also uh, test some of the equipment. We also have two classrooms for training. We, we did open in late December. Uh, we're located at the corner of TriStar and West Royal Lane. And also, we do have a warehouse fully stocked with all Stalls products that we can either ship to the customers or the customers can pick up. Excellent. I'm excited to show customers the warehouse. Let's take a look out there. All right. So as we're standing here in the Texas warehouse, a little bit of Stalls history. We actually invented CAD cut materials, and now we're the world's largest manufacturer. And we have our full range of heat transfer films, none less than Tough Enough for Texas Thermofilm the world's number one seller for athletic team uniforms. You can pick up any of these materials or have them shipped to you. And we have a new $5 flat rate shipping that we're offering here in 2016, which means the majority of Texas gets your shipments of heat transfer films in one day. And if you're in a neighboring state, within two days. Additionally, I'm standing here beside the world's number one heat press, the Hotronics Fusion. Not only do we have the Fusion here for you to test drive, but we have the full range of Hotronics that we can ship, you can pick up. And I want to show you these products over in our showroom. So one of my favorite parts about this facility is the awesome showroom that they have. And I want to invite in Mona Barton, who's one of our local reps here in Stalls, Texas, to talk to you a little bit about what customers can do with the equipment we have here. We actually come in and get hands-on experience using the equipment. And you have a full line of presses here? Absolutely. We have all the Hotronics heat presses. We have our rolling printers and cut machines. So full, full line of products for everyone to, to use. Okay, and so if our viewers do want to come in, how do they do that? Do they set an appointment or just walk in? Well, you can walk in or else if you'd like to set an appointment, you can always call and we can rearrange something for you or your group but you're free to come in. So it's easy. Just come in, uh, see Mona and the rest of the Stalls Texas team here. 
We have tons of samples throughout the showroom here to inspire you. So even if you're not looking to invest in a heat press or a piece of equipment today, it's great to come in, experience these samples and get inspired. You're probably starting to see like anything we do, stalls is about helping your business grow. Here to serve you better and faster, this is Stalls Texas. So for those of you all in Texas or in the greater Texas area, we look forward to seeing you um, in our facility or visiting our showroom and getting a, a really a close up look on what we've given you a brief look at here on the morning show this morning. Um, so this has been the morning show episode for today. We look forward to seeing you guys next week. Thanks for watching.